this last poem is titled Sea Below Winter, uh, written when we lived out in the mountain air area. Oh, and I should say, it is online today at Duke City Fix, so you can, you can see it there. Wonderful sight. Winter is amnesty. There is the forgiveness of snowfall, a clean white drape over the rough New Mexico landscape, covering the beautiful and the not indiscriminately. In the little Spanish towns along the Salt Mission Trail, snow is drifting against the crumbled adobes, piling atop the rusted out cars in cluttered yards, restoring them to grace temporarily. On the nearby prairie, choya cactus become a manger scene. They kneel in knobby clusters, playing the parts of shepherds and wise men who await the arrival of the blessed child. If it is Christmas Eve, luminarias, paper bag candles line the country roads, lighting the way for the Messiah. They are a gesture of hope against the dark. Families bring them to the graveyard, too, making a path to their beloveds. And for those whose grief is not too fresh, it is a nearly cheerful, almost social scene. They are kind to each other, these people related by loss, and call out greetings and news as they lean over homemade headstones and rough cut crosses. For them, the cemetery is a large garden they tend, blooming plastic fantastical flowers and messages of resurrection in punched tin. There is an older festival remembered only in the bones. At solstice, the snow swirls a special way. The goddess is dancing her veils. If you are a foolish traveler, late at night through Tejeras Canyon, beware. She may invite you to be her partner and entice you from the road, spinning you around and around on the black ice in a dangerous fandango. Waken in the safety of morning to a world made seamless white by new snow, hoarfrost on shrouded pines and a pearl-colored sky. It is the inside of an egg waiting to be pecked. Thank you. Thank you.